you are welcome to the Bazaar Revelation uh, Ministry, which is a prophetic end time uh, ministry. We are awakening the world because we are in the end times, and today we are focusing on a prophetic question Has sand opened the death portal? That's the question we are asking today. And the question is relevant to a vision that I had on April the 17th, 2024. Has Sam opened the deaf portal? And that is the question we are asking uh, in this message. So we want you to be informed about Sam. C E R N SEN. Uh, it is an organization in Europe. Uh, it is an organization of nations, European nations, engaged in uh, nuclear research. And we are asking the question whether that organization SEN uh, opened a deaf portal. Uh, SEN is involved in so many uh, quote-unquote research and the research has implications for the end times. Uh, the research is related to the issue of science and the occult, the issue um, regarding the involvement of science in uh, Illuminati, the involvement of sand the involvement of science uh, in uh, Illuminati and in the occult. Uh, Satan has hijacked science and scientific experiment, scientific research, physics, and other sciences. Um, Satan and Lucifer. Um, the, uh, Satan, uh, Lucifer himself, the angel who is the angel of death. Uh, they have uh, hijacked science and Sen is conducting questionable investigations and we need to know why they are doing that. And before we get into uh, the discussion of uh, Sen, C-E-R-N, I would like to share a vision that I had on April the 17th, 2024, uh, regarding Sen, C R N. Uh, in this vision, I saw a woman, and the woman gave me an envelope um, that contained obituary and also uh, containing money that was collected for a funeral. And the funeral was for the son of the woman who gave me an envelope uh, containing the obituary of her son. It also contained money that was collected for funeral expenses for uh, the woman. So when I got the envelope, um, I asked her, what is the envelope for? And then uh, the woman said, the envelope contains money donations that were given to her uh, because of the death of her son. And as I was speaking to her, another lady came, and the lady who came was explaining how the son died, the son of this woman. And this woman uh, was giving me details of the dead, the one who was just uh, buried where they had a funeral celebration for him. And so he mentioned his name, and as he men she mentioned the name of the dead man, I was writing the name uh, on an envelope. And then she said, Sen, and she spelled it C-E-R-N. And she also mentioned the name Sen. It means that the person who died was called Sen, C-E-R-N. A very, very important um, vision. So I woke up from the vision 
And so we analyzed the vision. And here, in this vision, I met a woman I didn't know from anywhere uh, who gave me uh, an obituary uh, involving the funeral celebration of her son. And another lady came to confirm that, yes, the woman lost her son. And the son's name um, is Sam. And she pronounced it and she said it aloud, C-E-R-N. Uh, it's very interesting that when I was writing the name Sam on the back of an envelope, um, I, I had a pen. I don't know who gave me the pen, but the pen had an, a, a black ink in it, and the ink spilled on the whole paper. It spilled on my palm as I was writing the name Sam on the envelope. And so um, we need to analyze the implication of a vision of a dead man whose name is Sen, C-E-R-N. I, I, I have never met anybody whose name is Sen in my life. And I don't know anybody whose name is Sen. And I want you to Google Sen, C-E-R-N. Sen is the organization station in Europe uh, doing research on on nuclear uh, matters. The question we are asking is, did CERN open a death portal? That's the question we are asking. And so we need to um, know more about uh, CERN, C-R-N. And because I want you to know more about CERN, I've uh, included in the description box uh, two videos. One was done um, several years ago by Pastor Stephen uh, Darby. Uh, I believe uh, the pastor died, but he has a video um, very, very informative on CERN. And he's saying that CERN operations uh, is related to the end times because CERN is involved in occult practices that are relevant to um, the book of Revelation, particularly Revelation chapter 9 verse 11. I've also included um, a link in the description box. Uh, the link is a video uh, that was done by a Nigerian uh, called Joseph Okechuku. So Okechuku's video is also uh, included in the description box. Okechuku relates Sen to the Illuminati and how the activities of Sen uh, is, is part of Illuminati. And he warns that when you see Sen, you know we are in the end times. And he relates Sen to uh, the Georgia Guide Stones and he also links it to the end times. So sand is very, very important. And so we need to know about sand. I will encourage you to Google C-E-R-N and the end times uh, for you to be aware that we are in the end times. And there is an organization that is doing research, quote unquote, research, nuclear research. And it is, it is not an ordinary uh, research. It is related to the end times. It's related to the kingdom of darkness. It shows that we are in the end times. And it is important for you to be aware that we are in the end times. And the book of Revelation is being um, unfolding, has been unfolding before our eyes, the prophecies in the book of Revelations are unfolding in our eyes. And Sam has opened the death portal. And that is my prophetic conclusion. And that is the reason why on April the 17th, I saw a vision of a dead man. And his name is Sam. C-E-R-N. And I wrote his name on a piece of paper with a dark ink. 
that spilled over all the paper on which I was writing the name and the ink spilled over my palm. It is darkness. Sand is involving um, colluding of particles, collusion of particles. They are gathering what they call dark matter. And when somebody is collecting dark matter using scientific equipment, um, definitely prophetically, spiritually, it means that the organization is involved in darkness. Um, Ephesians 6, 12 uh, tells us that we do not wrestle of flesh and blood. We wrestle of principalities and powers and the dark kingdom, the kingdom of darkness. And so, so many questions need to be asked. The first one is sin. Why does sin has a 666 logo? 666, you know what it is. You know the satanic number. A number for the beast, number for the antichrist. Why did sin, C E R N, organization doing quote unquote nuclear research, why does it have six? six says logo. I understand that CERN has a facility in Europe in the city called Apollyon. Apollyon, and you can do your own research. And you have to ask yourself, is it true that um, a facility of CERN in Europe uh, is located where they used to have the Asian temple of the god Apollo. You need to do your own research and you also um, um, need to do uh, research to find out why uh, Sam has a statue uh, depicting the goddess of destruction. Why? Is there any link between the logo and the kingdom of darkness, the 666 logo? Is there any link between the statute and the kingdom of dark, darkness? A statute of an organization, organization doing research involving many countries, including the state of Israel. Um, it's, uh, Israel is not an European nation, but I believe uh, Israel is a member of SAN. And they have a statute in front of a facility of SAN in Europe depicting the goddess of destruction. Um, you'll get more information when you watch the video that was done by uh, Pastor Stephen uh, Darby who died. Uh, it, it will open your eyes. And then contemporary analysis of the activities, activities of SAM uh, is also included in the video that was done by Joseph Okechuku who is a Nigerian uh, who does a lot of analysis of Illuminati and Freemason uh, activities and you you know you know the time that we are in uh, so that you will prepare for your own salvation as you prepare for the arrival of the Messiah as you um, you learn um, the activities of sin and how it leads to the end times, it leads to uh, the beast system, it leads to Illuminati, and it leads to uh, the book of Revelation. So you ask yourself, does sin relate to the book of Revelation? Uh, you can ask that question, you can do uh, your research. But uh, uh, when I did research on sin, several things came up. Number one, 2016, the year 2016, uh, a Geneva facility of sand. Um, it was reported that human sacrifice was uh, done on the facility in uh, 2016. Geneva, uh, Switzerland, a facility of sand was involved with um, human sacrifice, and you can. Uh, do your research and you can um, draw your own conclusion.
2023, Assad also engaged in particle collusion and they are collecting dark matter. It's a scientific experiment they are doing, it's a research they are doing, and they are gathering dark matter, dark matter. And of course, uh, dark as in the kingdom of darkness, prophetically, uh, this is what it means. And you can also do your own research, and you will know that they did something on April the 8th, 2024. That's April the 8th, 2024, ring a bell in your ears. Yes, it should ring a bell in your ears. April the 8th, 2024 was the day of the solar eclipse that was seen in Babylon, Egypt, Sodom, Illuminati-controlled United States. April the 8th, 2024, the day of the solar eclipse and they started their research they did something on april the 8th 2024 and a lot of people were asking the question what did they do on april the 8th 2024 uh, the day of the solar eclipse were they experimenting something in darkness did they open a death Porter. And if you link April the 8th, 2024, the day of the solar eclipse, and the day that Saint chose to do an experiment, um, you can also link it to April the 17th, 2024, when I had a vision, a vision about a dead man, and his name is Sam. And somebody mentioned the name of the dead man and mention the name Sam and spell it in my ears C E R N and when I was spelling C R N the pen was not writing it was not writing rather the ink in the pen spilled on the paper and spilled on my palm and spilled on, on the clothing that I was wearing uh, it, it means that the vision was not an ordinary vision. It was a spectacular vision uh, showing that something was done in darkness. A portal was open in darkness. And that portal is a portal of death. And so let's look at the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 9 verse 11. Revelation chapter 9 verse 11. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue has his name Apollyon. I would like you to read the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 11, and you will hear that, that there's a king of the bottomless pit the king of the abyss is a satanic uh, king uh, who controls the bottomless pit a portal uh, that um, was opened um, so that many people would die and that's why and how i was given a vision about a dead man on april the 17 2024 a week basically a week after sen did something on april the 8 2024 they opened a portal and those who are following the activities of sen uh, you are aware that as a result of what they are doing uh, earthquakes have been observed in other parts of the world storms have come out and demons have been released and you need to be aware that demons have been released and death has been released and that is why on april the 17 2024 the lord gave me a vision about a dead man who is named 
send. Somebody spell it in my ears. A lady spell it in my ears. C E R N. In the vision, I was not conscious about send. And I want to be honest with you. Uh, before the vision on April um, the 17, 2024, I had little knowledge about sand. It was because of the vision that I saw about sand that I began research about sand and I got to know um, that other people have done um, some um, work on sand, including Pastor uh, Stephen Darby, an American. Uh, an African-American uh, pastor who died several years ago but who did a lot of work in exposing the kingdom of darkness and I also watched um, a documentation by Al Jazeera uh, unfortunately Al Jazeera looks at uh, scientific experiments but you need to have discernment you need to uh, relate the activities of sand to the book of Revelation, the opening of Porter. Apollyon is the king of the bottomless pit. And as I watched uh, the video done by Pastor Stephen Darby, uh, he was um, making a comment that um, there's a city in Europe um, around the area where they have a sand uh, facility the name of the city is called Apollyon. Apollyon. A P O L L Y O N. Apollyon is the Greek name for the king of the bottomless pit, uh, who is described by Apostle John in the book of Revelation. Uh, chapter 9 verse 11 uh, you also have to know that the masons uh, they claim that they have a password a password to uh, to heaven and uh, so you don't have to believe in God you don't have to believe in the Messiah they say that uh, they have a secret uh, pass code to uh, to heaven and the pass code is called a uh, Young. And so if you see any member of the Mason, and the member of the Mason talks about a passcode that they have, that will, quote unquote, allow them to enter heaven, uh, ask them the name of the code. And if they tell you Apollyon, please, please, take your Bible and go to the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verse 11. And they had a king over them, those who are in the abyss, the bottomless pit. And the name of the king is the angel of the bottomless pit. Uh, the king uh, who rules over them, those who are in the bottomless pit, is called the angel of the bottomless pit. And his name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek is called Apollyon. And the masons say they have a secret code that will enter the gates, that will open the gates of heaven. And the secret code is called Apollyon. But if you are wise and wise enough, if you have discernment and good discernment, you know that Apollyon, in the book of Revelation chapter 9 verse 11, is the king of the bottomless pit. It's a portal. When sin opens a portal, it's a demonic portal. And demons come from the pit. Death comes from the pit. And so sin is death. And definitely that's why in the vision I had on April the 17, 2024, I saw a vision of a man who died and they did a funeral for him. They collected money for his funeral. They had an obituary about him. The documents were given to me. I put it in an envelope and somebody mentioned the dead man's name, Sam. 
C E R N. Those who have ears, you have an obligation to hear, and you have a duty to do your own research about signs and the occult. Those who are in the signs, they don't believe. They don't believe in God, but they believe in something. They believe in matter. And it is dark matter that they believe in. And they have an organization called CERN. They are doing nuclear research. And they are collecting dark matter. They are colli colluding particles. And they have a giant machine located in several places. They are collecting dark matter. Why are they collecting dark matter? Why is it that their logo is 666? Why do they have a statute depicting the goddess of destruction? Are they on a mission to destroy? A word to the wise is enough. To you who are discerning, you know we are in the end times. The book of Revelation is unfolding and the Lord is awakening his elect that don't sleep. And when they tell you about signs, when atheists, when Illuminati talks about science, they are talking about something else. They are doing the bidding for uh, their father, Lucifer. And they did something April the 8th, 2024, the day of the solar eclipse. They opened a portal. And the portal is a portal of demons, a portal of earthquakes, a portal of plagues a portal of death. And so the Lord showed me the death. A dead man whose name is Sen, S-C-E-R-N, synonymous with Sen, the organization in Europe, are doing research about nuclear science. Of course, they are doing research. The, the scientists do research. And they do research, occult research. They use occult symbols. They are able to depict. And they are opening the portals so that the dark matter, the demons, the plagues on the other side can enter. They can enter. As the book of Revelation talks about them. And the book of Revelation in chapter 9 verse 11 says that the locusts, the demons, the scorpions in the bottomless pit, they have a king over them. Of course, there's a hierarchy of authority in the dark kingdom. And so the demons in the bottomless pit, they have a king over them. And the name of the king in Hebrew language is Abaddon, and in Greek language is called Apollyon. And so Sam is doing research and they are opening the portal the portal of death the portal of destruction um and so they have the successes logo the logo of the beast they have the statute of the goddess of destruction and they had the audacity to open a portal on april the 8th 2024 the day of the solar eclipse and God being so kind, God preparing his elect for his coming, preparing the elect for them to know the workings of the Illuminati and the Masons and the beast, the new world order. The Lord being so kind gave me a vision on April the 17th, 2024. And so the question we are asking, has sent open the death portal to release the agents of demons. Has they done that? Uh, has sent uh, done that? Have they done that? Has sent open the death portal. What did the Lord show me? A vision of the dead. And his name is Sen. C E R N not Joseph, not Stephen, not Benjamin, but 
sand spell as c e r n you are encouraged to do your research on the relationship between science and the occur the relationship between science and illuminati and so when you hear and see an organization by name sam with a six, six, uh, six logo and a statue depicting the goddess of destruction and opening a portal on april the 8th 2024 the day of the solar eclipse you know that they have a mission a mission to open a portal the portal to release death and destruction and demons and apostle john warned you in advance this is what they will do as recorded in the book of revelation chapter 9 verse 11 and so you are responsible for preparing and watching and doing your own research about sand and for you to do that watch the videos about sand that are put in the description box one by done by pastor stephen darby and one done by our brother joseph okechuku who has done a lot of research on sand and how sand related uh, it relates or is related to uh, the end times and the book of revelation thank you for watching this video send open a portal and the lord showed me that it is a portal of death and the name of sin is equated with death sin is death and death is sin thank you for watching uh, this video